You're going to start by mixing up a little bit of wallpaper paste. You want it to be a little thick this time. When you're making the pieces of tissue paper stick together, when you're making your two colored paper, it can be a little runny. But for this, you want it to be a little more thick. Helps it dry faster. And when you add your water in, you want to add a little bit at a time. Because of the way the paste separates when it hits water. Some things that are going to be useful as you're adding the paper stiffener to the paper and shaping the model, you want to get a paintbrush that's about this size to help apply the wallpaper paste or CMC glue. Um, some twist ties are useful to help keep the model in the shape that you want as it's drying. Uh, ones like these from the supermarket are useful. The only thing to watch out for for these is sometimes the paper can stick to the model and when you remove it you want to be careful that that doesn't come off on the model. Um, so something like this, kind of a plastic coated wire might be useful as well. So I was having a little bit of trouble keeping his eye open like that. So what I did was take a little piece of cotton and shove that up into his eye socket. Okay, you don't have to do this, but it might help you if you're having the same problem. Okay, what I like to do to start is to take a twist tie, curl the ends in a bit like this. Get them hooked around the posts of the wings and kind of over the top of the neck like that. And then press in on either side once it's clasped around the edges of the wings. Kind of helps to hold the neck down. At the same time, you can position these wings the way you want them to be. Now you need one that goes around his wrist, back up over his back, under the other arm, and then around the other wrist. And that kind of keeps him, you know, his arms tucked in to the sides like that. Keep this, pinch this up here so these don't get deformed. You need one around one leg it goes behind the tail and you want the knees to be kicked out to the side like that. His elbows actually come in on top of his legs. Okay. And then the feet, you kind of, when you're shaping it, you want them to be coming towards you. All right. The tail, it's good to have two or three this size or one long one. If you want him to sit on a shelf like this, you want to bend it right about this section right here, just have it drag out right behind him and have the rest of the tail be flat. And when you're shaping that part, be really careful to do kind of a gradual curve so it doesn't tear the paper. But you want something that really constricts the paper and makes it as round as possible. So as it dries, those layers stick to one another and it really serves as a good uh, post for, um, for him to lean back on. Okay, and then just pinch here, push these out like this. Kind of get the knees up as far as you can, like that.
Okay, so we have one of the wings done already, and as you can see, the moisture in the paste really makes the paper expand, and we've lost some of those nice creases that we had before. Don't worry about that. As the paste dries, you're gonna get the paper to um, have nice folds again. You can just come back in as it starts to dry and move all these back into place. It's gonna take uh, about 30 minutes for that to really dry down enough to where you can get that. So don't worry about messing with it now, but uh, you will be able to get this shape down again. The paste will dry out and it'll start to get tacky and you can shape the wing again. The important thing to remember is to move slowly. Just get a little bit of paste on the paper and spread it out until it won't go any further and then get a little bit more on. Don't uh, put so much paste on any one part that it gets really heavy and starts to uh, morph anything that you've already done here. Just get enough on there so where the creases you already have laid in don't um, uh, uh, break apart. You know, you want to just get a little bit at a time. It's been about 20 minutes and the paste is dried enough to where it has a little bit of tackiness to it. We can go back in now and start to press all of this down like we had it before. And now, if we're careful and patient with the paper, it'll kind of start to stick where we want it to. A little more than it was before and and that's what I meant about just giving it a little time to um, dry out before you're able to reshape things exactly the way they want to be Now you don't want to get too much paste on the model at any one time, but now that the wings have started to dry a bit, go ahead and come back in and do an area like maybe the neck here. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. This side should start to want to shape now. Maybe, maybe give it a little, a little more time. But I think I can get this one. We just have to wait till it's ready to take those creases back. The little details like that. You can also fix those when we come back later. Uh, but uh, just kind of put things in the right place here. Maybe give it a little more time for that top part. Okay, so Last thing we did was add a bunch to the arms and the back there. Probably want to start to uh, put some on the lower part of the model. Uh, I like to save the claws and stuff for, for last, so just come in and as much as you can. There's a lot of um, kind of wire and stuff here, but try to really get a lot on the tail because this is going to be important structurally to hold the model up. Um, so, you know, make sure you're not leaving an excess on the surface, but get enough on there so it sinks down in between the layers of uh, the tail and it makes that stiff when you let the, uh, the wires out and let it stand on its own. Just go ahead and get it on there. The very inside of the model too, if you can get inside there, do that. And you want to do a coat on the outside um, also, just to 
and make the paper stiff there as well. Okay. It's looking pretty good. We'll let that dry for a little while. Okay, it's been a little while now. This wing has started to dry out enough to where I'm able to put those creases back in it and get this spike pointed the right direction. Now what I want to do is start to work on the arms and the ribs here. So the ribs really need um, just kind of a coat over the top of them, just like everything else. Kind of get in there and just lay it down over it. But you want to make sure also to get up inside of them. And behind them too. Okay, the same thing on the other side. Just get some inside and get the bottom of the neck really well too up there. A lot of layers right here, so just get a lot in there. And then maybe also start to get the arm, the forearm, and the, the claw. But you get what I'm doing. Make sure as this part dries to come back every once in a while and make sure that the ribs are flat and facing toward you and you want it to be kind of symmetrical too. Get all that excess out there. Okay, just let that dry for a little while now. Okay, that's all been drying a little while. The tail is starting to dry and harden. Uh, the wings should be good now. You can see they've returned to a little bit of crispiness to them. Uh, the ribs are drying just to make sure uh, every once in a while I'll go in and um, press them down to make sure they're pointing in the right direction. The fingers might start to come undone. You can come back later and fix those when we come back and do the second uh, detailing on this. Now you kind of just want to get the remaining area back here, the back spikes and uh, along the legs and stuff. I usually save the uh, feet cloths for last and uh, the head too. So just continue on adding paste here.
I did add one last twist tie around the neck to really round out uh, this part of the neck here. Uh, it's difficult to get the shaping right. It really needs to be kind of a dramatic angle up and then back and then forward. So just do your best to keep that shaped up and make sure this uh, the jaws angled as well. Might want to take this and really push back into there to get that to shape correctly. Okay, and now we just need to let it dry and um, when it's done, kind of go back in and do the, the feet as the last part there. Okay, he's been drying for a little while. Now I just need to come in and get Put enough on these to where they have some paste all over them, but not too much. And we'll put another coat on them after the model dries completely. Uh, the reason you don't want to put too much on these is it's just better if they don't have too much of a chance to expand out. Try and get as much excess off as you can and distribute it. Uh, you can kind of tell it's already starting to kind of expand there. But just do your best to um, get just enough on here and then really watch the toe claws. Once it's the glue, uh, the paste starts to um, to dry out come back and press everything together. And keep it from spreading out too much. You may need to set something underneath his legs and hands right here, about that level to keep her from sitting forward until the legs dry. And then every once in a while I'll just come in and uh, re Put together the toes and make sure everything is symmetrical and pointed in the direction that you want it to be in when the model hardens. So it's been an entire day now and now the model has completely dried. Um, I used this piece to prop up Ridley as he was drying so that his legs could dry and now he's able to stand up on his own. You can see the model's pretty stiff now. At some point I wedged these Legos under his arm just to give a little spacer there so um, he's able to stand up a little taller. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we take the twist ties off. Alright, so here's the completed Ridley model. You might want to come through and do just a little bit of touch up with uh, some CMC or wallpaper paste just in little spots. Uh, but you can probably do any kind of minor shaping you need to that's left over just by um, pressing the model together as it is now. All right, so that's it for the Ridley model. Um, next, we've got uh, Caduceus. I'll show you how to fold that model. And then Smog and Jabberwocky will be coming after that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.